In a previous video, we took a look at using console scenes in place of the saving versions option or using the save as when working within Studio One. What I thought we would do in this video is explore the selected channels only part of this workflow because I mentioned it can be a bit confusing. That being said, it can also be very useful if you know how to use it and it allows you to basically stitch together different versions or different scenes into one new version. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to save a scene of this mix exactly where it is, and I'm not gonna bother using versions. We're just gonna go with scene one and we will click okay. So now we have a scene one of our mix, and this is exactly as the mix is playing right now. Okay, so we have a well-balanced mix, it's playing good. Let's say that a set of mix notes comes in and the artist or the group says, hey, can we explore some different drum sounds? Maybe we can add some more aggressive parallel compression or something like that. So you say to yourself, yeah, of course, no problem. So we take a look at our drum bus over here. I'm going to open this up and let's take a look to see what I've got going on here. I've got console one and then I've got a splitter and this is going into a SSL bus compressor. So if we take a listen to the drums, Okay, so let's say that we're gonna dial up the the amount of aggression. I've got a mix tool on here as well. I wonder what this is doing. Okay, this is just, it looks like it's automating some gain. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add another compressor right after this. And one that I've been really loving lately is since Universal Audio went with the um, native versions of their plugin, I have really been loving the API bus compressor. So this one right over here. Let's just kind of go for broke and let's dial in something super aggressive. And this is happening after anything else. So this will be kind of seen as an add-on. Now, what I'm gonna do is just let this play and let's dial something in. Okay, so for the attack, I think I'm gonna go pretty quick. And also for the ratio, let's leave it at about six to one. And the release, I'm gonna go pretty quick as well. And we're just gonna dial up this threshold now. Okay, I like what's happening there, but I wanna do a blend of this as opposed to having it completely wet. So we'll use the dry wet blend here. Okay, let's do before and after. Okay, we're losing some volume. It's because we're doing a lot of compression. We're gonna give this some makeup gain and I'm gonna dial this in. Let's give about 60 Vs of makeup gain. So here is where we started. And we'll pull back the makeup gain and dial this back a bit. Okay, now let's listen to it in context. I've gone overboard here for the sake of demonstration, but now essentially we have a brand new version of this mix, but maybe I just wanna isolate the, it to only this track over here in terms of the recall. So with this option enabled, for this one, I'm going to choose selected channels only, and we're gonna create a new one and we're gonna call this scene two. So now, when I'm recalling something, I'm only recalling the selected channels. So if we take a look at this over here, and if I was to go back to scene one for a moment, we're going to go back to exactly where things were with no compressor, but then scene two, this now has the compressor that we have on there. Now here's where it all kind of comes together. Let's say that I make a different change. Okay, so I'm going to now say, maybe make some other changes in the mix where I'm going to deselect the selected channels only option. And then maybe I make some changes in terms of this, this, and let's go to, where do we have here? We have our base print, let's turn that up a little bit. And we're gonna do something where we can actually hear what's going on. So now we have a completely new version, if you will. So let's take a listen to this. 
give him the best that you can. I'm going to save a new version, and this is going to be scene three. So now, we've made some changes in terms of our vocals, and we've made some changes in terms of our drums, in terms of all the levels that we've adjusted. Let's say that they like the new vocal changes that you've made, but they want to go back to the way that the drums were in scene one. In this case, I am going to select this option, selected channels only, and now I'm going to select the drums, and we are going to recall scene one, but it's only going to recall the selected channel. So you'll see these changes that I made to the kick and, and the snare, and I've gone overboard here to kind of emphasize this. If I double click this now, notice that we have recalled the drums from scene one, which is before we added the aggressive parallel compression, but everything else is left as it was in scene three. That makes sense, right? We increased our vocals, we decreased our snare, we decreased our verb, and we brought our drums back to where they were in scene one. Now in this case, I'm going to create a new scene, and this will be scene four, and in fact, let's call this final, and we will go ahead and click OK, and now I'm going to deselect this option, and now I can go back to scene one, and scene one will have my mix one, which has all the different levels. Scene two, we'll have the new compression settings that we added on the drums. And then our scene three will have the level changes that we made. And also it's gonna keep these compression settings over here. But scene four, because we use this option of selected channels only while we were completing that task, scene four will now have the drums from scene one and all of the level changes from scene three. So. If you use this a certain way, and if you toggle this option on and off, you can kind of go between different versions, different console scene recalls, and you can choose specifically which elements you want to recall, and essentially you can stitch together a new mix. This is something that I've done before, basically by using import session data or opening up two versions of a song, having them running at the same time, and then I would literally have to right click and copy channel settings and then hop into the new session and right click and paste channel settings. But if you use this option of selected channels only, you actually have a really unique way in which you can stitch certain elements together. And at the end of the day, as long as you kind of understand it and you understand which order you have to use when you're using the selected channels only, and as long as you engage that function before you recall a scene or save a scene for that matter, then you can really get some cool results. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for this video. Hope that you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.